Okay, that was a baby one. Whatever. Bonk, da, 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 cherry Bomber. Yes, I am a fanatic for my Cherry Bomber, even my clone. I love it. Uh, all right, hey, welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy, and I'm your guy for DIY, and today we're going to be making a strawberry cola freeze. Oh, yummy. It's like a party in your mouth. I kid you not. So good. So good. You'll notice that my gloves are already on because if you've watched several of my other uh, videos, um, you don't want to get chemicals on your skin, uh, but the, the chief problem of all of them is the nicotine. It, it can really wreak havoc, introducing high doses of the toxins into your skin and all that. I don't want to scare you, however, because if done properly in low doses, uh, it'll help you stop smoking, as it did for me. I smoked for 20 day, uh, 20 days, 20 years, a pack a day or more, um, and I haven't. I've been over five years now tobacco free. Now, when I first started doing this, I took a little bit of a higher dosing, because for some people, the the psychology of the hand of mouth uh, is one aspect of the addiction, but also the nicotine. But more importantly than the nicotine, you had all the uh, all the tar and stuff from various other, uh, the carcinogens from various other uh, chemicals that they introduce uh, to that. Well, you know, uh, again, you want to power it down a little bit when you're doing your vape. Uh, and you may be a person that just really likes high nicotine. I, what I did was a comfortable, keyword is comfortable, step down. And that was one aspect of why I tried to learn some DIY because, um, I wanted to see where my thresholds were. I wanted to adjust appropriately. I still love the vape, and I still love low doses of nicotine, which can have some positive effects, but uh, you, you want to get down to a comfortable level, or if you just don't want nicotine at all, that that's cool too. Uh, like I said, I do it in small doses, but I do have some uh, nicotine-free juices that I have, and I do those at night. Um, you know, but if you're a person where the addiction is more or less hand to mouth, you know, then uh, maybe nicotine's not for you or it'll help get you off of the cigarettes and stepping down accordingly. Um, it really depends on you. No two vapors are the same. So uh, that's my little spiel. Uh, one more, if you don't mind, before we get on this gravy train. All right, just a little baby puff. Okie dokie then. Um, I am using a calculator. It is called E Juice Me Up. You can Google that. E Juice Me Up. Uh, you can pop in your flavors. You can pop in your nicotine desired strength uh, at the end. You can uh, type in whether your blend is a 50 50, a 70 30, 60 40. I happen to be using the 50/50 uh, nicotine. I'm sorry, 50/50 VG to PG because I like both vapor and I like cloud chucking. So all you got to do is enter in all your numbers, and I will just go ahead and uh, uh, put this down below and add it as a picture, a JPEG, so that y'all can uh, uh, view it, the screenshot of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get right into this. Um, some of this stuff I have already kind of, uh, you know, I kind of have it pre-measured, especially the nicotine, so I can just go ahead. Uh, and again, I use a 24% a concentration that kind of helps you to, uh, it, it helps you so that you don't really mess up uh, so much. You, you really have to pour a lot of that to, to get uh, to get really, you know, where it's toxic level. So, uh, okay, so we have the recipe calls for 15 milliliters of nicotine, and you can see this is a 30, and it's a little over, but that's okay. Um, you know, it uh, just a tad won't be that, won't be so bad. 
Now I'm using a funnel and here on this you can see all the way around that uh, it's got the measurements everything from metric to standard um, so I'm gonna go ahead let me get my napkin up here so I can put this on there and not get oil everywhere oils whatever chemical all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in here I've got a funnel so that way I can get it in there without any uh, and by the way nicotine is really thick so that's why you don't see me using a syringe on it it just doesn't work uh, very good I'll probably have to go look at a different gauge for it but that's cool all right I'm gonna go ahead and cap this off all right and we're right at about if you can see that we're under 20 but over 15 right in the middle and again that's okay it's all right it's not gonna kill but you definitely don't want to eyeball over stuff too much um, you can always go over a little bit on the juice or back off the the uh, the uh, VGPG blend or whichever you prefer you can back off of that a little bit because like I said the lower concentration of uh, the uh, nicotine it's actually made mine is made in a uh, the kind I prefer is made in a PG blend so I went just a little bit over and I'm gonna back that up or back off of that in the PG um, yeah that way it doesn't go over too much but you can see it's starting to get in there this is a hundred and twenty milligram bottle milliliter bottle man I'm just all kinds of diarrhea at the mouth today I've got like issues just slap me around I'll get it right I'll get it right um, okay so we've got that done we've got that transferred to our bottle and I'm gonna just go ahead and let it There's, again it's really thick and I mean thick and if you don't have a funnel or one of these measuring glasses um, I would experiment uh, by learning where you when you're using the dropper from the tincture I have mine where I know one milliliter is so I can actually get it in there and, and I know where that is so um, you know if you don't have additional funds to buy this kind of stuff that might be a little trick for you okay now the other thing I like to do let me just put this right over here for a minute on the sweetener I like to use one drop one drop for every 10 milliliters okay one two three four five six I'm a little over just by a hair but that's okay no worries by the way sweetener a little bit goes a very long way a very long way all right so we've got that going now we're gonna migrate the funnel back over here we're gonna get this over to the back we know that we've used this now uh, let's see on our VGPG it is going to be 30 30 milliliters and again I'll show it to you in a second but by the way by the way uh, because you're using a funnel you don't want to over pour you slower is okay you, you know you don't need to go all fast here because whatever's in there is going to creep and remember just a second or two ago I said I was going to back it off a little bit and I did I'm just under that 30 milliliter let's see if you can see it I'll try to turn it around all right we're gonna go ahead and pour that right on in just leave that up for a second or two now because we're using this and it's all going into the same bottle it's not really cross-contamination so this is all going to be in there anyway so uh, you know don't worry about that it's when you're making multiple stuff uh, 
or you're trading out you're trading out man man my mouth doesn't want to work when you're trading uh, your, your syringes and all that and you don't clean them uh, when you're making other stuff that's where your cross-contamination comes in keeping your surface uh, clean too um, but what you don't want to do is okay so I've made uh, one recipe and then you come back without washing everything and make another recipe that's the very definition right there of cross-contamination this however is all going in the same bottle so you don't need to worry about it okay so next we have we are doing nine milliliters of cola freeze now on the flavors they're not as thick so you can use a, a syringe so you can get in these small bottles trick though is don't go too fast keep a steady hand uh, because 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 of the wonderful thing she does because um, you don't want to knock your bottle over somebody like me I okay we're there that's five I tend to knock stuff over a lot And I do mean a lot. All right, we got five there, so we need to get up. We need to get up another four. And that was only three. So let's get three more There's, see what I mean plus you're dealing with the uh, oils and stuff like that so you wanna it can get slippery all right there we go my goodness Yes, and I like to talk a lot when I'm doing this stuff. Um, not only for your benefit, but for my benefit too. And I can already, mm, oh my goodness. Have you ever been to 7-Eleven and you got their share, uh, I'm sorry, their, their cola uh, Slurpee? Have you ever done that? Well, this here pretty darn close I mean it's amazing all right we're going to do six of our strawberry you can use either strawberry or you can use um, cherry cherry cola is good too strawberry is good okay there's four right there So we need to get two more. Okay, right there. And again, we're just putting this all down in there. Doesn't matter if you're mixing it up. Same recipe, same bottle. Now sometimes I have a habit of going a little too quick or glossing over some things. So if you have any questions, please subscribe, add your comments, questions. Uh, if you have some additional things that you'd like to add to because of your experiences, please, by all means, I love uh, feedback. I love people sharing. Uh, that's how we all learn. And uh, all right, so there we go. That came out perfectly. Again, I told you this is a 120 milliliter bottle. Now, if you're looking from the camera, you'll see that it's right there. Now, again, we have some of this oil that needs to come out, but uh, we're right, we're right there. See, you can see it perfectly. 
if anything, we could probably add just a, a hair more uh, VGPG. We're going to do that right here. You don't, you can just pour judiciously because I can see right there it's just a little under, which is why I say to add all that other stuff first because you can always add back. There we go. See that right in the middle. Perfect. Anyway, so um, yeah, like and subscribe. Um, add any comments, feedback. It's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this off. We're going to go ahead and put the lid on here. Um, since I put all that stuff in here and all that and there's oil on my gloves, I just say oil for generic reasons, but you all know what I mean. Anyway, I tend to uh, repeat too, I guess. I just caught on to that. Um, I love I love feedback guys uh, there's no one vapor uh, alike and sometimes uh, you'll have additional feedback on how to bolster the recipe um, that's all good stuff it really is and uh, I will share the screenshot that I did with the e juice me up but having said that let's get this sh 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 shaken you already see it starting to turn color. See that? Now, the last thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and where did I put my pen? Take my Sharpie. And this here, it washes off very quickly. Okay. So we're going to make cola, strawberry. And it was at six on the nick. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. And again, that'll wash off, but that way you know what's what's on there. Now, when I go to put it in the regular bottles, you can go to Staples or wherever. I, I use little tabs like this or little uh, sticky um, sheets that you can put on there and I just write what it is. You always wanna write what's in there because you if you're anybody like me, um, I tend to forget sometimes, but moreover, if you're in a professional environment like a kitchen, you need uh, to put down, label everything, uh, including, you'll, you'll see, what is it, the MSDA requirements and all that stuff, because if this has, let's just say this has a, uh, uh, some toxic chemicals or whatever people need to be able to read what it is before picking it up so they can take the the uh, right precautions because it could lead to fatal uh, issues if, if something you have in there is poison or whatever in this case not so I mean you'd have to really botch it up by putting a lot of nicotine or something in there again low doses could have some benefit but like anything else everything in moderation um, okay, so having said all that, if you have, again, subscribed, oh, let me flip back over, yeah, da -da -da. If there's the banner, right, uh, all my information, I'm easy to get a hold of, I love sharing and caring and all that stuff, so having said that, I've gone on too long, I'm sure. Ah, uh, all right, guys, and gals, and people, and dogs, and cats, and goldfish, I'm out of here.